wonderful internet friends. How are you today? Today's Monday, February 1st. I just looked at my calendar back there and realized I need to change it. It still says January 31st, but hello. I just got done doing all of my like morning stuff that I needed to get done. What time is it right now? It is 11.20. The boys are um, finishing up their classes for the day and then um, they have like assignments that they have to do Yay. until about two. Uh, but Brody's classes ended a little early today so he's working on his math on iReady right now. Just sitting here in the living room working on math, doing a good job. And Berkeley's in her room playing with her four square ball. They, the kids went to my mother-in-law's for the weekend. Um, they have like a standing once a month date where they go have a sleepover at my mother-in-law's <laughs> once a month. Um, and while they were there, she was playing four square, two square with Berkeley. And so she ordered her a bouncy ball from Amazon and it just got delivered yesterday. So Berkeley's in there bouncing her ball playing. Um, and Brayden is in his room on his writing ELA class. So they're working on like reading and um, writing. That's what's going on here. Getting ready to take Berkeley to school soon. Good job, bud. I gave them all writing and not even using the whiteboard. That's amazing. You know why? Because you know how to do it now. That's why you're getting them all right, huh? Mm -hmm. Since I did. Since I didn't even do it in my head or on the whiteboard and I keep getting it right. You just know it already? It's amazing. Um, we swapped our living room and our bedroom rug over the weekend, which a couple of you suggested and I had thought about that, but I was like, I'm like nervous about having this white rug in the living room because we have a black lab and a cat and three kids and we don't wear shoes out here. But still, like dogs go outside and they get dirty and they come in. So um, I don't know. I was a little nervous about putting this rug out here, but we're going to see how it goes. And an, one of my followers on Instagram suggested that I scotch guard this rug and see if that works. She's like, you can literally spill red wine on it and it will just like beat up. So I think when we're at Target today, I'm going to look and see if they have that. Um, not a bad idea to like scotch guard our couches while I'm at it is what I'm kind of thinking. So... Um, I'll show you guys my bedroom, which you guys already saw me vacuuming in here this morning. So this is the rug that was out in the living room. It's from Target. It's linked in the description box for you guys. It'll say living room rug in the description unless I change it. But um, there's that. And then, oh, these, these pillows also are from Target. I told you guys that. Oh, I think actually in my last vlog, I may have showed you guys these already. But these are from Target. I absolutely love them. And then this is from the Hearth and Hand line, also from Target. And then we put the rug that was in here out here in the living room. So this is what it looks like now. And it's actually, this rug is actually bigger than this rug. This is a seven by 10. And then I think this one is a 10 by 12 or eight by 12 or something like that. Um, and then the ottoman came in this weekend and the chair came in this weekend. So at Target today, I'm going to look for a small little side table to go right there. Um, but it fits perfect. I love it. So now we have the chair, the couch, and the love seat. So this is what our living room is looking like now. I love that it's open over here in front of the sliding glass door. And it's also open over here. So, and then we, I moved these couches apart just a little bit. And this table is from TJ Maxx, as you guys know. This is from Home Goods. Um, a few months, oh, I think during the summertime, actually. So I just have that on there um, for, like, drinks and whatnot. But I want to get a little table to go there. Um, that's about it. But I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that we got rid of the sectional. This just opened everything up so much more. And I feel like it looks so much better. Anyways, that is what the living room's looking like. I also got a few more of these baskets like I have in our closet in our bedroom. But when we're not doing school, when school is over, the baskets go on this shelf over here in my room. And that's just what has been working out. I've had this in here for a few months now and it works nice to have all that stuff out of the way. But um, they fit in this cube shelf. Perfect. So I got 
those for their school things and then these are the ones that I did have in there this is stuff that I need to post on Poshmark that pile has been sitting there forever and then I'm also gonna do these baskets in the hallway for our hall tree I just have these plastic ones under here um, but I'm also gonna do those down there I just need to do actually you know what we'll probably we might just do that right now because I need to unbox those and put those in there and I need to put this stuff away this is the kids stuff from their sleepover this weekend but let's just go ahead and do that right now before I have to take Berkeley to school it was years ago but how can I forget we were 16 up all night love and heartbreak was our life we got drunk and smoked your dad cigarettes dreamt of a life in a big town skyscrapers and neon lights Ooh, I still think of you dropped off at school the boys are done with their classes so they're gonna do their assignments when we get back but we are gonna head to go pick up our groceries and go to Target but also I was just talking to I still have a, a brand manager she um, is amazing and she like deals with all the brands that I work with so she's kind of like the middleman between the brand and me so I don't have to work directly with the brands and she takes like all of that off my plate and I've had a brand manager for almost two years now, about two years now. Yeah, dang. I was talking to her about, which this isn't something that she like does, but I was just in conversation with her about my channel and talking about how I haven't had comments on my channel for like two years now because Years ago, can't believe I'm saying that it's been years ago because it literally feels like yesterday, but years ago, YouTube turned comments off on like tons of channels, like thousands of, I don't know the number, there are like tons of channels of family vloggers. Now I used to do family vlogs, like that was like the main thing that I did and then I would do like a cleaning video here and there, but I like daily vlogged. So my channel was affected, my comments got turned off and they never got turned back on. I have not had comments on my channel for two years, no matter what I do, no matter what I write in, no matter what settings I do, my comments are off on every single video, no matter what. So I was telling her like, it really sucks that my comments are off and asked if she had a contact at YouTube and maybe see if she could ask them like what the deal is. Um, Cause I don't even show my kids on YouTube anymore. And if you see them, it's like for three seconds. Like I don't vlog them. They don't talk to the camera, nothing. And I have privated all of my vlogs that they're in, all of them. So she reached out to him like, I don't know, a week or two ago. And then today they finally got back to her and they said that because I have minors on my channel, I can't have comments, which honestly pisses me off because there are millions maybe um other channels that have their children in like swimsuits and underwear and doing gymnastics leg ups and all sorts of stuff and they have comments and i'd show my kids for like three seconds and i can't have comments on my channel it honestly just makes it's just one of those things that kind of makes you go hmm you know like not naming names but there are huge youtubers that like the main focus of their channel is their kids their kids are in every thumbnail like they're film and potty training and like just stuff that you know your kids probably aren't going to want on the internet when they're older and they have comments on their videos so i'm just like little old me who barely shows her kids at all can't have comments but you know those big channels make the money for youtube so of course they're not gonna turn their comments off right anyway it's just a little update on that in case you guys are wondering if you're new here I haven't had comments for two years and apparently they ain't coming back so 
that's that. But we're gonna head to Target. You guys ready to go shopping? Yeah. I will give you guys a Target and Fred Meyer haul when we get back home, okay? All right, we just got back from Target and Fred Meyer. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So I got this big bag of frozen carrots, zucchini, squash, broccoli, cauliflower. And then we've got chocolate milk. I got strawberry, Waterloo sparkling water, some pink lady apples, some cucumbers, baby carrots, poblano pepper for tacos tonight. Some Tillamook cheese. I got four things of strawberries. Got our favorite tortilla chips. Some salsa. Some red potatoes. Some diced tomatoes. Chili beans. Kidney beans. These are all diced tomatoes. Some cherry mixed fruit. Some kids mouthwash. And that's everything from Fred Meyer. And then this is from Target here. Kids insisted on some donuts. So we got those. Um, these are going to be Berkeley's little Valentine's for her classmates. Um, they have like you can write on them, but they're these little like sour jelly bean things. Um, and then these are for all of her teachers for Valentine's Day. And then I got some cold brew, some creamer. This creamer is super good. And then these were in the dollar spot. I've been seeing these on Instagram and YouTube. This one's all wet because it's raining out. Um, but this was all that was left in the dollar spot and I really need to organize my bathroom. So I grabbed all the ones that were left and then I just got a pack of white hangers because I needed a few more. So that is everything. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, obviously. I did not pick up the camera anymore yesterday. Um, I, when I got home, my mom was here and just hung out with her for a little bit and then did like dinner and all of that and I didn't even think to pick up the camera. We've been um, playing music on our Alexa in the kitchen at night when I cook dinner and it's just, I talked about this in my last vlog too, but it's just like been so much fun. So I didn't even think about picking up the camera, but I just finished working out. That's why I am a sweaty mess. I'm making the kids breakfast right now and um, Brody's having a bagel and cream cheese. Brayden, Brayden's having some hash browns. We got some strawberries, Berkeley, and Brayden's playing with his Legos. He got like a little, yeah, I'll, show, I'll come over there and show him in just a second. He got like a little um, ice cream truck Lego set yesterday at Target, and so he built that when we got home yesterday as well. Uh, Berkeley's still sleeping. Brody got a Wally, -E, like from the movie Wally. -E. Hello Wally, -E. he wanted it for Christmas. Yeah, the Hello Wally. -E. And one of the most popular toys now he says oh my goodness i need to get in the shower um but he wanted it for christmas and it was not anywhere to be found in stores it was like sold out everywhere and it was in target yesterday so he used his gift card for that but it's tuesday we got school i'm gonna wrap up this vlog just wanted to pick up the camera so i can end this vlog but thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on any of our videos and i'll see you guys in my next one Let's go show you Brayden's Legos real quick before I get in the shower. So, you got this one for Christmas from Brody, right? Yeah. So that was his Lego Mars deal. And so here's the ice cream truck. So he's got all And the, the ice cream lady's giving um, that astronaut, the boy astronaut the ice cream and then the girl one is leading in line. And this guy already has ice cream and the dog and the is rover. eating. And he found a, a, a Martian. Oh my symbol. gosh. So he's and got the, this little setup. And, and then the look rover. what else is in line. The rover. Nice. It doesn't eat ice cream. All right, guys. So. We'll see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.